Come on, lady. That's a girl. Howdy. Sir! You coming on, girl? me any further. I'm just a homesteader looking for a patch. I Chase ain't no room dead. for homesteaders here. You're gonna get it now. Oh Lord. <laughs> Dear me. Are they dead? <laughs> Sir? I was alone in these parts and much in need of a friend. Thank you. more welcome and I hope. I won't let this encounter be a deterrence. I mean to settle somewhere here. Good luck.
Hello. How's that horse doing? We've got room in the stable if you need it. I've always had a way with horses, you know. Real fine saddles here. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. I think you should do it. It was well with a saddle. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Look around. I have an assortment of hunting bait and tools, if you haven't noticed. Worms and crickets by the front door, and don't miss the scent blocker by the back window. All right, then, let's have a look. you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> well, it's legal, I'm usually. Then. Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him, 
I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. in a bit. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly? Thing. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if you guys want it. Easy enough. You uh you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Hey! Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Okay, Missy. We gotta get out! Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. You'll be okay. He went right. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit.
story. I'm an innocent man! Then come on and talk to us! You've got no cause! What is wrong with you people? Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Ain't you hey, Mr. Kirk, real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not. Uh, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you.
Mister. That's a girl. We're getting there, ain't we? interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You uh, him? I'm no gunslinger, all right. But I do like a challenge. What are you thinking, then? Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just drop your gun and aim when you're ready. You beat me, huh? <laughs> Just a better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. Oh, how about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call. Follow amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Can shoot, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Why'd you even bother betting? Okay? I mean, you must know you ain't good at this. Watch yourself, friend. I had some bad shots, is all. Bad shots? That's what you call it? Maybe one day a bad shot will take both your thumbs off. Ah, it's una amenaza. Muy bien, cabrón. Good girl now. Now. 
Well done, lady. Good girl. Yes, Missy.
makes you a pretty girl. Now let's have a look at you. There we go. Hey, relax. There, there. Hey, easy. It's all right. <laughs> Ain't you special? Oh. 
How about this? Like you? You want to make some easy money? Come with me. I can't talk to you. Okay. Man, good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. No papers, huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. You sure? Don't know if I'd want to be hollering after a horse with that name. It's nice to give a little special grooming. Every time I say this year can't get worse, it does. Things made more sense before the turn of the century. Little fine grooming always sets off a horse. That'll make your horse happy.
My bastard of a friend double-crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Sure. Okay, the hell he's at the saloon, tying one on. So go ahead to 1B in the hotel and look for us easy money. Evening, sir. Need a room? You can rob me, do you? I spill uh, a corpse down. If you come back here causing more problems like this, I'll get the sheriff. You hear me? Should have been mine anyway, rat bastard. You're right. Easy money. We're off. There.
Over here. Good girl. Ain't you fine? Howdy, partner. First time? I only keep select items on the shelves. Gum and candies behind the shelf, and the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. Now, let me have a look. Okay. Does the trick. Sure. They brought a feller in here with a rail rod stuck through his foot. Dixed him up in no time, of course. Be amazed what the old elixir can do. Thank you. You're real helpful. Thank you. Hello. Your fellow nickel. That's a girl. Ain't nobody got a heart. Hey, brother. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I... If I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and... Ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh. I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only most folk find me creepy and, and strange, which ain't nice. I guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> I used to know a fella. A bit like you. A few years back. Crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. Good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's 
Hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure. That's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Hello there, oh. mister. Howdy, friend. There. I'm Philly. Hi there. Out of the way, you tough guy. Lord in heaven, get me out of here. Come on, let's do this! You'll need more. I'm gonna stop you, man. What did you say? Hello, mister. Oh, Jesus Jeez. Christ! You're a good girl, man. How do you do? Well done. Okay, girl. 
an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You're a good filly. Hello, sir. How are you? Hi, miss. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Howdy. We'll be here when you get Come on, then. Mister? Hello there. Good job, lady.
like me, be a wise man. Be a fool for love. Help a blind man. Here. You have learned the most important lesson of all. That only one thing matters. And all else is lies. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. That's something. Buddy! Hello! Hang in there, girl. Here, boy. <laughs> oh, you got lucky there. But next time you come around these parts, you lose your top and more than that besides. Next time I won't let myself get bushwhacked. Mock me, boy. You weren't so brave a minute ago. Ha, ha, ha,
Come on, lady. Jesus, who do a thing like this? Hello. Not here. Doing well. Thank you. 
Hey, partner. We've suffered enough by your hand, don't you think? I just got one of those faces. Mmm. Really, I'm friendly as can be. Ta vare på deg selv. Here's that Skinner, brother. What's left of him? Lias Green. Well, I'll be. Didn't think I'd see this one alive or dead. Throw him back out with the rest of the trash, will you? That man weren't worth spit, but here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty business. It's only fair. You don't go after these bounties, I'm gonna have to. There's another poster gonna be up right quick. Come back for it. You'll be okay.
Could we please get this over and done with? I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend! Somebody help me, please! Could we please get this over and done with? Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. I, I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny he is. <laughs> I really do wish you would hurry this along. I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. Gavin. Ugh, where the hell are you? Could we please get this over and done with? Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin?
looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. Gav? Gav? I really do wish you would I hurry this along. Friend. Somebody help me, please. Yes, my I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. What the hell? What's going on here? I mean, I lost him. Ah. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny. All you need to know in the ledger. How about you, sir? Let's go, girl. Who's a good horse? Ain't you special? you friend I hope so who's in charge here no one mister this is a free country <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about listen I'm buying this land I'm afraid I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else <coughs> who's this I ain't sure some fancy dang city boy Says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. It's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here.
Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, they just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I. A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but. I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No! She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot.
Doing okay, girl. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? for a trim. So what'll it be today? <laughs> 